Really quickly before the beginning of this video, I just wanted to say if you ever want to play any Dragon Ball Fighters games with me, or if you just want to hang out, head on over to the Discord channel. It just recently got a revamp thanks to the hard work of a couple of people, and it's starting to look really nice. And if you do end up going over there, make sure you go into the Roll-Me channel first and say what console you play on. That way, if you ever want to play with anybody else, those players will be easier to find. And if you want to participate in any tournaments, make sure you go to tournament listings. I also wanted to give a special thanks to all the Patreons that support me. I seriously can't thank you guys enough, and thank you to all the viewers that have been supporting me so far. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, this time discussing Fu Zamasu or Zamasu Patara if you really want to get technical. More specifically, we're going to be discussing how I think Fu Zamasu should be implemented into Dragon Ball Fighters, as well as some other ideas for how he can play. If I miss anything or you have a different idea on how he should be implemented, please let me know down in the comments below. Now last time we did a video like this, I talked about how I would like to see the DLC characters being implemented, and it was to have one character be unique and outstanding, while the other character is just a very normal, easy to access Dragon Ball Fighters all around character. That actually ended up coming true somewhat with Broly and Bardock, as Bardock was very accessible and easy to get the hang of, while Broly took a lot more getting used to. In Fu Zamasu's case, I would love to see him be the more unique character out of the two. We already have a couple of signs that he is probably going to end up this way, such as him being the first character that can actually access an 8-way movement system in Dragon Ball Fighters. No other character can really do that, so that really separates Fu Zamasu from the bunch. And depending on how important the flight system is overall to Zamasu's game plan, is really going to determine how much he stands out. And for me personally, I would love to see it be a core part of his kit, as I would love to see him stand out from the rest of the cast. It makes sense for both his character, and it would just be kind of fun to play around with in the game which is kind of the most important aspect of a video game. Really quickly, I don't know why they cut it out from the officially released trailer, but for the first trailer shown, you can actually see the flight system a little more prominently, that being in this clip, and you can see it's actually pretty fast, which is a good thing in my opinion. It means that his rushdown game won't exactly be terrible, which is good for a character in this game. Speaking of his rushdown though, that brings me to my next point, which is Zamasu's range. We don't really get to see it much, which I feel goes without saying because these trailers are very short, but from what we can see, Zamasu has a lot of good range on his moves. As we can see here, just like Goku Black's down heavy, those blades are really coming into play here, and it's creating a lot of space between Zamasu and his opponent. But that's not even all of it, because we also have footage of Zamasu in his flight stance, holding on to an electric type attack which shoots downwards. The range on this move is obviously insane, but what I think is really important is if it can stop Super Dash or not. If it can't, then the move really isn't that good, but if it can, that's going to be an excellent tool for Zamasu to keep control of the game. That'll be another thing Zamasu doesn't have to worry about, and he can focus on playing neutral instead. As far as mix-ups go, I hope Zamasu doesn't get anything too dirty, as I think his flight mechanic are going to make the mix-ups hard enough to deal with as it is. I'm also really interested in Zamasu's assist. Hopefully it's an assist that has some decent range to it, but doesn't go quite full screen. Maybe something like his lightning attack could serve as a pretty useful assist. But that was pretty much all just basic gameplay stuff. Now we can get into some of my really crazy wants for Merge Zamasu. One of them being I want him to be able to go pretty high up in the air and have a lot of range blast going downwards just because I really like the idea of Zamasu hovering over his opponent and being able to poke at them without them being able to get to his range without super dashing. Other than that, there's really not too much I expect to see from Fuzamasu, but I did notice that some of his moves were linking weirdly in the trailer, and I think if there was ever a time to mix up the way the system works now, it would be along with this balance patch, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out. Like I said before in the video, let me know your thoughts on Fuzamasu down in the comments below, whether you think you should play like a normal character, or if you want him to be so out there it's ridiculous. I want to hear all of it. I'll be down in the comments as always. And while you're down there, if you like this video and channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm also over on Patreon if you're feeling extra generous and want to support the channel. Thanks again for watching, I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.